the continuous random variable is uniformly distributed and alpha to beta and this is given so for rule of continuous distribution if you have a to b the expected value is a plus b by 2 by symmetry so the variance is b minus a whole squared by 12 so that means question number a is going to be expected the random variable is given by r is 3 so alpha plus beta by 2 equals to 3 therefore alpha plus beta equals to 6 equation 1 and the variance is equals to 25 by 3 which makes it um, beta minus alpha beta minus alpha whole squared divided by 12 equals to 25 by 3 therefore beta minus alpha whole squared is going to be uh, 12, 25 by 3 into 12, for this is going to be 100. So we have equation 2 here, equation 2. So uh, we can solve this using uh, uh, solving the sum of these equations. So we can do this uh, for if we write alpha plus beta, so this is going to be uh, we can use alpha equals to 6 minus beta. So let's put it here. We can write beta minus 6 minus beta whole squared equals to 100. We can write beta minus 6 this is going to be 2 beta minus 6 whole squared equals to 100. We can write therefore 2 beta minus 6 equals to plus minus square root of 100 which is plus minus 10. So we can write uh, 2 beta equals to 6 plus minus 10. So 6 plus minus 10. Therefore beta equals to 6 plus minus 10 divided by 2. So we are going to have two values of beta. So if it is plus, it would be 6 plus 10 by 2, which is 16 by 2, 8. Uh, or if it is minus, it's going to be 6 minus 10, which is minus 4 by 2, which is minus 2. So it could be either uh, 8 or minus 2. Now let's find the value of alpha. So for alpha equals to 6 minus beta, we can get if beta, if it is beta is 8, it would be 6 minus 8 equals to minus 2. Or alpha could be 6 minus minus 2, which could be 8. Now, which one is? We have beta, which could be 8. We have beta that could be minus 2. We have alpha, which could be minus 2. We have alpha, which could be 8. Well, in the question, it is written that alpha is less and beta is more. So the answer is going to be answer alpha equals to minus 2 and beta equals to 8. So that's it. So question number B is you have to find the probability of R is less than 6.6. So question number B, probability of R is less than 6.6. .6. Remember for uniform distribution, always draw a sketch of it. So this is going to be, this is X, this is FX. 1 by beta minus alpha which is going to be 8 minus minus 2 is 10. So 6.6 .6 is this and this is the region we are looking for. So from 0 to 6.6 is 6.6, .6. from 0 to minus 2 is minus 2. So that would be 8.6. So it would be 8.6 into 1 by 10 which is going to be 0.86 and that's the probability. Question number 7 is a PDF and this is three expressions. Now it doesn't mean that it's uh, different in the way it is done. It just means the expression has been broken down into three parts. Let me explain. Usually what we have, uh, we have an expression which is PDF expression limit A to B zero otherwise. Now here the limit is from zero to 10. The limit is from 0 to 10. It has been broken down into three expressions. So the PDF is the same. It's PDF equals to expression for the PDF for the probability, instance of the probability, and the limit is from A to B. But what they have done, the range 0 to 10, they have broken it down 
uh, into three portions. So that's the idea. The, the PDF is the same, but it has been broken down into three parts. So the first thing is the sketch. Now the sketch is going to be the same way as before. So you do it part by part. First, 0 to 2. So 0 to 2 is going to be, when you put here 0, it is 0. When you put here 2, it is 2 by 15. So this is going to be, and this is going to be 0, and this is going to be 2 by 15. So this is 2 by 15. So let me join this because it's a line, it's linear. Next, if I put here 2, this is 2 by 15. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have any x. So 2 by 15, this is also going to be 2 by 15. The next one is 7. 7 is also going to be 2 by 15 because there is no x. It's uniform. So this is also 2 by 15. Next, if I put here 7, it is obviously going to be 2 by 15. Let's check 4 by 9 minus uh, 2 into 7, 14 by 45. If you subtract it, it's 2 by 15. And if you put here 10, 4 by 9 minus 2 to the 20 by 45 is 4 by 9. So this is 0. So if I put here 10, it is 0. So that's the sketch. Now, the next part is going to be, it's going to carry the most mark. It is 8 marks. Uh, this is finding an expression for CDF. If you remember, CDF is cumulative. That means total probability. You add it up. In continuous, we do the addition by integration. So we have to find the CDF for uh, the first part. So let's do this. So question number B1. So give the heading for this expression, for this. We're finding the CDF for this x by 15. So CDF is going to be integration x by 15 dx. So this is going to be x by 15 means x squared by 2 and we have the coefficient 1 by 15 so plus c so that's that's the integral we can write 1 by 30 x squared plus c we have to find the constant because this is uh, we have to know the expression so you know the lower limit is 0 that's how you find the constant for cdf f lower limit equals to 0 so f lower limit is 0 equals to 0 probability is 0 therefore 0 equals to 0 plus c, therefore c equals to 0. So the expression for the CDF would be 1 by 30 x squared. That's it. The next one is 7 to 10. So for 7 to 10, we can write uh, fx is going to be 4 by 9 minus 2 by 45 x dx integrate this, this will be 4 by 9x minus 2 by 45 x squared by 2 plus c. We know f upper limit which is 10, f upper limit total probability 1, therefore 1 equals to 4 by 9 into 10 minus this 2 and this 2 cancels. 1 by 45 into 10 squared plus c. That makes it, this is 40 by 9 minus this is 100 by 45 so let's bring out the calculator so we can write 40 by 9 minus 100 by 45 equals to this so 1 minus that if you change the side that is minus 11 by 9 so c equals to minus 11 by 9 that means the expression of uh, cdf uh, 4 by 9x minus 1 by 45x squared minus 11 by 9. Next, this one is number 2 and this is from uh, 2 to 7. Now number 2. For number 2, the expression would be for 2 to 7. So CDF is going to be integration of the expression for that is 2 by 15 constant. 2 by 15. So 2 to 7 is 2 by 16. Again, it doesn't matter whether we give the equal to sign or not because it is continuous. It doesn't make any difference at all. So when we integrate this, 2 by 15 is going to be 2 by 15x plus c. Now, for finding a constant, we have two rules. One rule is C 
CDF lower limit equals to zero probability and CDF upper limit equals to probability one. But the upper limit is for this expression and the lower limit is for this expression. So what do we do here? What we can do here since CDF is total probability and the total probability is represented by this area, we can write F2, we can write here F2, the area which is the area here. So we can find the area of the triangle, half into base into height, half base is 2, height is 2 by 15, so it would be 2 by 15, so F2 is 2 by 15. So we can use this for three expressions. The sketching is very, very important, so we can use that technique. So F2 is 2 by 15. So here we can write, let me write here, so F2 is 2 by 15, therefore 2 by 15 equals to 2 by 15 into 2 plus C, therefore C equals to 2 by 15 minus 4 by 15, that would be minus 2 by 15 and that makes the expression Fx equals to 2 by 15x, 2 by 15x minus 2 by 15. And finally number 3, specify CDF for the entire distribution. So for specifying the CDF, you remember you write the CDF, so you write 0 here which is less than the lower limit, you write 1 here which is greater than the upper limit and you write down the three expressions. But this one, uh, it was, let me check, it was 1 by 30 x squared. So this would be 1 by 30 x squared and the limit would be from uh, 0 to 2. For the next expression it would be 2 by 15 2 by 15 x minus 2 by 15 and the limit would be, let me copy the limit as they write it from 2 to 7, it wouldn't really matter if they write equal to because it's continuous. And finally the third expression is going to be 4 by 9, 4 by 9 x minus 1 by 45 x squared minus 11 by 9 and the limit is going to be from 7 to 10. So that's the uh, definition of the CDF. So the next question is right here. Find the probability. So for finding the probability we have to put it in an expression. Remember for CDF uh, x is less than or equal to 8.2, that means it is 8.f8.2, 8 .8 CDF 8.2. But what expression are we going to put this? Well, take a look at the limit. 8.2 lies around here. So we're going to use this expression for CDF. So for CDF, the expression is going to be this one. So let me do question number C right here. So f8.2 is going to be 4 by 9. 8.2 minus 1 by 45, 8.2 squared minus 11 by 9. And that makes it uh, 4 into 8.2 divided by 9 minus 8.2 squared divided by 45 minus 11 by 9. That's, that makes it 0 0.928. So 0 0.928. Finally, we have to find the expected value. Okay. Let me bring the expression here. Now, there are three expressions. Expected value is you have to write xfx and integrate it over the entire limit. But since the limit is broken down into three parts, we have to do it in three parts. We have to write expected value, first limit, x1 to x2, xfx, the first expression, plus expected value, the next limit, x2 to x3, which is 2 to 7, and xfx, and use that expression, 
and plus we have to use the third one x3 to x4 xfx remember for expected value we have to add up all the probabilities and all the integration of the xfx x into probability that's what we have to do so let's start so question i'm going to break it down and then add it up the first line should be like this expected value equals to 0 to 2 x of x by 15 dx plus 2 to 7 x of 2 by 15 dx and this is the longest uh, from 7 to 10 x of 4 by 9 minus 2x by 45 dx so that's what we're going to do but it's a good idea to break it down and then add it up so for the limit 0 to 2 so the expected value is going to be 0 to 2 x squared by 15 dx so if I do this, this is going to be 1 by 15, x cubed by 3. So this is going to be from 0 to 2. So this would be uh, 15 into 3 is 45. This would be 2 cubed minus that would be 0. So 8 by 45 is the expected value for the first one. Next, uh, for 2 to 7, so the expected value is going to be 2 to 7, 2x by 15, dx. So that means 2 by 15, x squared by 2, 2 to 7. Write it down here. That makes it 2 and 2 cancels off. This 2 and this 2 cancels off. That makes it 1 by 15, 7 squared, minus 1 by 15, 2 squared. Uh, if I take 1 by 15 common, 7 squared is 49, 49 minus 4 is going to be 45, so 45 by 15, 45 by 15 is going to be 3, so the expected value for the second one is 3. And finally we have for 7 to 10, we have expected value 7 to 10 x fx so x fx let me write it down x into 49 is 49 x minus 2 by 45 x squared and remember to give the bracket so this is going to be 4 by 9 x squared by 2 2 by 45 x cubed by 3 the limit is from 7 to 10. So this is cancelling off. So 2 to the 4. So 2 by 9. This would be 10 squared. Minus. This is uh, 2 by. 3 by 15. 3 by 12. 13. This is going to be 10 cubed. Minus. Now the limit is going to be 7. So 2 by 9. 7 squared. Minus 2 by 135, 7 cubed. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a calculation. Okay, first of all, we have 10 squared is 100. 100 into 2 is 200. So 200 by 9. So let me write 200 by 9. It's a good idea to do some of the calculation in your head and some of the calculation in the calculator. Uh, 10 cubed is 1000. 1000 into 2 is 2000. So 2000 by thousand by one thirty five one thirty five so this is two hundred by twenty seven so two hundred by twenty seven minus next this is seven square is forty nine so forty nine into two so forty nine into two is ninety eight divided by nine so we have ninety eight divided by nine so shift this is 98 by 9. Okay, we have 98 divided by 9. Now, 7 cubed. So, let me write it like this. Otherwise, 98 by 9 minus. So, 7 cubed is going to be 7 cubed. Uh, 343. Now, we multiply by 2. Divided by 135. 100 makes it. 
686, it's difficult to use the decimal fractions here. 686 by 135. 686 by 135. Okay. Now let's do the whole calculation altogether. So this is going to be 98 by 9 minus this thing. So that's the answer equals to this. Now we have 200 by 27 minus answer which is this which is 1.6 I hope this is correct it's a long calculation 1.6 now let's write down the answers expected value therefore expected value is 8 by 45 for the first one 3 for the second one and this is 1.6 if we add it up it is going to be 8 by 45 plus 3 plus 1.6 and this is 4.78 this is correct 4.78 now it is extremely important to know the answer format the answer format has to be three significant figures otherwise you're going to lose the accuracy mark so 4.78 is three significant figures